Well, heavy rain and flash flooding is threatening millions of people in the West. Many areas are suffering from severe drought, but the sudden downpour is too much too quickly. Bradley Blackburn has the latest as at least 12 million people between Arizona and Louisiana remain under flash flood warnings. Cars stranded and submerged. This is the scene on a Dallas interstate where some people needed to be rescued as the water level rose up to and past their windows. City officials are reporting some areas have seen up to 10 inches in about the last 12 hours. Monsoon storms have dumped rain on dry, hard-packed earth that can't absorb it. In Utah's Zion National Park, crews are working to find a 29-year-old woman who hasn't been seen since flooding started Friday. The family has been in the park, and we're working to support them as they go through all this with all of us. There are more than 20 people working on this search and rescue operation, and they're working all along the length of Zion Canyon. At Carlsbad Caverns National Park in New Mexico, more than 100 tourists were stranded in the visitor's center for hours after flooding cut off roads. And in Peoria, Arizona, thousands of students were out of class after the monsoon knocked out power and damaged buildings. Schools are set to reopen today. We were short uh, 10 teachers out of uh, 40 six I believe these are trucks driving through the streets of Fort Worth Texas a flash flood watch remains in effect for much of the northern part of the state until this afternoon Bradley Blackburn CBS News